Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner as always is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight La Liga. It's Barcelona taking on Real Madrid. Yes, thanks as always Derek. We've got two good teams here so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, he's a footballer who has made waves since really announcing himself to a wider public. I'm talking about Frankie de Jong. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders. He's got that ability to run with the ball into open space. He can pick out a pass. He can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. Andre Ter Stegen in goal. Frankie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. Leading the line today is the hard to defend against Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Papa Hal starts with David Alaba as fullbacks. Tony Kroos starts with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And lining up as the lone striker is Aiden Azar. A match to look forward to. Barcelona kick off. Obama Yang. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Delivering it. Insufficient guile from that corner. Keeper's ball. And it's through here. Real might threaten on the flank. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. And he cuts inside. Federico Valverde. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Bit of a sloppy pass by Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. That's very effective, good high pressing. Nacho Fernandez. A oh, tremendous vision. What can Real do from this position? Casemiro. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Jordi Alba. Araujo Obama Young couldn't keep it Casemiro well, what can they do to stop him running at them to take the lead well it wasn't a simple save to make Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. 
Oh, what a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, it looked as though he might be on to something, but his timing left a bit to be desired. Yeah, that's frustrating, because he's just been too impatient there. He doesn't need to make his movement quite so early. Carvajal. Now Casemiro. Aidan Azar. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Oh, it's a wild, wild finish. Pedri the pie and now with Aubameyang effective challenge promising move from Barcelona but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end Eder Militao Nacho Fernandez, Casemiro, Federico Valverde, course, space for Real out wide, every pass hitting its target, this is looking threatening, nicely saved, Possession changes hands, the interception there. Well, Real have had so much of the ball in the last 15 minutes and have played some really lovely football going forward. They must now make it count and get themselves in front. And now here's Aidan Azar. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Pedri. Well, terrific skill. Can he put it away? And touched onto the frame of the goal. Nacho Fernandez. This is Alaba. And fed forwards. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Back underway, and that should really shake up Barcelona a bit, you would think. Obama Yang. Given away by Barcelona. Tony Kroos. Now can they create something? He's managed to get in behind. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it.
course with the corner. And it's in! Real Madrid firmly in charge here. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Well, a second goal for them here. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Tony Kroos is with Vinicius Junior. Promising sequence. Casemiro. Good effort here. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here in Catalonia. Well, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang sets very high standards for himself, Stuart, but he's dipped below those standards in this match. Well, Derek, he has to impose himself on this game. He's been far too quiet so far. If they are to get back into this, he needs to make something happen and start getting some shots away. A match to... And off and running again after a dizzying first half performance by Real. Will we see more of the same in the second 45? Eder Militao. Fine sequence of passes. Aidan Azar. Federico Valverde. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Casemiro David Alaba and he's given it away space on the flank and making his move inside and that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger Let's see about the delivery. Oh, no end product. This might be ideal for the counter. Now well, he'll be irked with himself. Ran into an offside position. And space to cross it and play towards the near post not out of the woods yet well he stumped it out of there without much fuss and the counter attack is on options available well that break looked so promising but nothing coming from it paid to be now Busquets, and they might be onto something, and he's through, and a goal, not over just yet. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So on with 
of the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Tony Kroos. Well, we're into the final half hour. Sergio Busquets. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Frankie de Jong. What can they do from here? The high press was on, and the chance is on. Oh, should have done so much better from there. Casemiro. This is Alaba. Aiden Azar. Aiden Azar with a lovely ball. Well, not allowed to continue. He had drifted into the offside position. Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be onside. But he does know where the space is. Substitution for Real Madrid. PK now Jordi Alba to Stegen now what can they do from here Oh, surely. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? Pedri Adama Pedri Now Jordi Alba Options in the middle and Not a great cross Making the goalkeeper's job rather easy Well let's see what they have in store for them on the break Oh big chance They had to react and did a quarter of an hour remaining here we're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back And the flag does go up, offside. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Aiden Azar. Now here's Aiden Azar. Kamavinga. Not a bad pass it was. Oh, great vision. Given the circumstances, Barcelona have got to go for it. Time is against them here. Aubameyang at the ready goalkeeping and still they lead well that's a great save that could be the match winning stop there well I thought that was a certain goal if they do hold on to this lead the keeper will be getting all the adulation oh fancy footwork fruitful looking attack and slipped through beautifully Precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it.
Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Substitution for Real Madrid. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Burnley likes to run at them. Aubameyang at the ready. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Eder Militao. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. And a good tackle. This might have potential. And there's the full-time whistle. Maximum points for Real Madrid. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, he should be pleased with himself today, because he performed really well, he scored a good goal, and they won the game. An excellent day all round.